Plymouth at home. Alex made your debut last weekend for Cheltenham. How did you feel it went? Obviously, 3 0 win. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. It was a good experience. And overall, I was just pleased that the team got the three points and got a good win. And settling in here, how easy has that been? Honestly, it's been so much easier than I thought. All the lads have been brilliant, the staff as well. The manager has been really good, so I couldn't have asked for it to be any better, to be honest. What goes through your head when you've been told, right, OK, Cheltenham are interested in you, we think you should go. Um, sort of how does the process sort of start in terms of you getting your head around it? Um, obviously, the first thing I would say is you're moving away from home, which is having lived at home my whole life is quite a big step. Um, so, you know, you're looking at how far away it is, that sort of thing. But then, what you've got to put first, you've got to put your football first, and that's what I've done. So I thought it would be great for me to come in and get some experience, and I'm here. And what instructions have West Ham given you to sort of achieve while you're here? Um, no, they just said I was doing well for them in the under-23s. So they said, just come here and do exactly what you've been doing and you'll be fine and that, that was it really. Go out there, play for some first team football, get on with it, which I suppose exactly so far is, is what you want to happen. Yeah, no, that's exactly it and, and do well as well, but um, hopefully that'll happen. You've had a rare opportunity to scout this Saturday's opponents on TV. Did you watch the game? I did, I did watch the game last night. And what did you think of Plymouth? Um, I thought they did quite well, to be fair. I mean, you only concede one goal against a Premier League side. You're uh, not doing a lot wrong. But at the same time, I think if we play our game and play well, I think we can win the game. And there's got to be that confidence now amongst the Cheltenham players, hasn't there? Because, you know, a couple of good results out of the bottom two. And I suppose, even though Tuesday was a disappointing result, the performance was still there. And you, you, Do you feel you've got some momentum at the moment? Yeah, I would say everyone feels as though we're playing quite well, as you say, of coming off the back of a win. Um, we, sh we should be going into the next game positive, and I think we will be. And I think where we've had quite a few new players, me and a, a few others have come in, I think everyone is feeling really good about it. Yeah, plenty of youth, plenty of athleticism, and presumably plenty of enthusiasm. How much can that sort of help you be a fast learner? Because I suppose that's what you've got to be, isn't it? Yeah, I would say when you're young and you've come from an environment of being a fast learner and getting on with things, I think that helps and that means that now, as we do have a young team, I think it is easier to do the job at hand. And the physicality of the level, how are you finding that? Um, I, to be honest, I found it alright because I'd say I'm quite a physical, quite a strong young lad, so I think that I can cope quite easily with this but then I've only played one game and I'm sure I'll come up against different challenges so I'm uh, looking forward to it. And the pitch was chewing up on Tuesday night, I suppose that's not something you're particularly used to in the Premier League Academy system? No, I mean we, but even then we do play on some bad pitches but we've played on some very good ones as well um, but as, as I say it's all part of the experience and this is what you're going to get at this level and then you have to adapt your game relative to that. So it's it's all part of the learning process. Thank you, good luck. Thank you. The Checker Trade Trophy received some criticism in the, in the lower leagues for the in, under-23 teams coming in. You played for, for West Ham in all three of their games. How did you, yes. how did you find that? Was it a, a valuable learning experience for you? Um, I, I did find it. I found it a very good experience um, for some of us because we, as an under-23 team, had quite a young side. So I think it was really good for us to learn a bit about league football, coming up against league oppositions. And I would say it was very beneficial for us. But whether or not league teams would say the same. Yeah. Did, did you find, that, therefore, that when you came into the Akron game, you knew, you knew what you were to get a bit more? It wasn't as much of a shock to the system? Yeah, it? I would say I had a much better idea than I would have done had we not played any league oppositions this year. I mean, earlier we played in our group, we had Wickham. So that I felt that that was a good challenge and therefore that prepared me for this loan. Yeah, um, you must have played with Manny Honorisi uh, at West Ham. Is it like slipping into to, to an old glove having uh, having him alongside you? Yeah, it was, it was a weird coincidence that um, he was here. But yeah, I played with Manny 
boots on so many occasions and for a good spell at one stage. So it's once you've done that, it's not too hard to get back into the swing of things. And um, I found it good on a sat what was it Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The games come thick and oh. fast at this level. You oh, they do. My head is all over the place. <laughs> um, quite a young back back defensive unit with 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 Scott obviously in behind you. Did, do you find that easier in a way that there's not so, so, so much the, the daunting prospect of like a, an old haggard centre half alongside you? Or? Um, in some ways, yes. Obviously, playing alongside people that are your age and of similar experience, and you don't feel as though you're under any more pressure that you've got to live up to their standards or anything because you're all on a similar sort of stage. Um, but at the same time, sometimes it is good to have that experience and someone who's played numerous amount of games to help you through the game but to be honest with you I thought that we'd done we did well and I would have said that we can manage it as a young back three five however you want to call it yeah they obviously watching the Plymouth game the other night you must have you must have seen they've got a big front three big physical yeah. front three with, yeah is that something that you're thinking right I've got to be ready for that yeah of course I mean but as I, as I've said before it's just it's another one of those challenges and if you're going to get to a higher level or whatever, you've got to go through these challenges and you've got to take them on and you've got to beat them, really. So It's been quite a whirlwind month for you in, in many ways because you were on the bench for West Ham on, on Boxing Day. That must have been quite an experience to, yeah. to have. Yeah, no, that was that was a really good experience. Um, and as, as you say, it's just been it's been so busy. I can't remember many days off and that sort of thing, but <laughs> it's, it's the way it should be. Yeah, um... Coming through the ranks, West Ham. Is there is there are there many better clubs to to to, to get your grounding in as, as a young player? Um, personally, I, I would I couldn't say there is really. I, I think the environment at the club is brilliant. Um, the way they're working with individuals now is is really good, and all it's all we need now at the club is that branch through from the academy to the first team because we haven't had that many first team appearances for young players. When you look at Liverpool and Tottenham this year, I think they've had quite a lot of young players play. So that's that's the only thing I feel as though we're missing out a little bit. And do you feel that this this spell could show them that you're you're sort of ready for adult football and hopefully come go back to start next season and, and be that, that I player? would I would hope so. Um this is what it's it's part of it's a matter of getting that experience as I've I've said it is so important and then the manager can trust you rather than throwing someone in that's not played league football it's hard for him to put you in a Premier League game whereas if you've played and you've shown that you can handle the pressure and you can handle a crowd and get used to those things then I think it's much easier for him to be able to trust you to play. Obviously living with Mumsy at the moment he's a, he's a West Ham fan isn't he? Has he, has he been badgering you for, yeah. for, for information and for tickets? And he's, so on? Um, he's, he's not been a bad actually, he doesn't seem to be a diehard West Ham <laughs> fan so it's been a bit easier I think. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Cheers Alex. Thank you. Thank you.